Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at picture and picture on the web. Okay, so as the name implies, picture and picture allows your users to essentially just pop out a mini window for playing video. As we can see right here, um, in many of the recent releases of Chrome, you can actually enable picture and picture through the UI natively. So for example, if I press on this, we can see it pops out in its own separate window. I can then seek and I can play just the root and it all works perfectly fine. But today's video, we're going to be talking about how to programmatically control this feature. So as we can see, if I close this and then use this button, we can enable and disable the picture in picture and that is done using JavaScript. Okay, so this support for this as of June 2020 um, is not too bad. I can show you the can I use table right here. We can see it has decent support um, in Edge, Chrome and Safari. But essentially, we're going to be designing this in such a way where if the browser does not support picture in picture, it simply will not display this button. Okay, so let's go inside this tab and of course, insert that button and make it work. So. Um, as we can see, I've currently just got the video element itself and also if I go inside um, the text editor, we can see I've got the video but also we actually have the button right here um, but it is set to display none because of course on browsers that don't support the programmatic picture in picture, we don't want this button to display by default. Okay, so. Let's go inside the JavaScript right now. And firstly, let's get a reference to both the video and the button. So we can say const my video is equal to document.query selector and pass through here the ID of my video. Let's do the exact same thing for the BTN pip. And now that is all done. We've got both the video and the actual button inside the JavaScript. So now let's test if the web browser supports picture in picture programmatically and then we can simply just display this button. So we can say just down here, if, okay, picture in picture enabled in document. And now if we get inside here, we are good to go. So we can say btnpip.style.display is equal to null and that is going to remove this inline style which of course will then display the button. So now let's just save this and then refresh the page and we can see right here we now get the button appearing on the page. Okay so now let's make this button work. So back inside here inside the if statement we're going to be saying something like this. We can say listener. When the button gets clicked on, we're gonna just simply run this event or run this, uh, run this callback. And inside this function, we're gonna simply say my video dot request picture in picture. And this right here is gonna give you a promise. So like many of the other uh, web APIs, we can only worry about the actual um, case of an error. Okay, so we can say dot catch, just like this, we're going to be grabbing the error and we can simply just say console.log and pass through here the error. So of course, um, in a real scenario, you may want to instead, you know, tell the user something went wrong, um, but in this case, this should be perfectly fine. And right here with this line of code, we should see the picture in picture window pop up for this video. So now saving this and refreshing, we can click on the button and we can see it is now appeared. So now let's make it so you press it again, it removes the picture in picture. So it's going to be just as easy, but I do want to show you real quick. If I was to press on this button and actually display the picture in picture, we now have something like this in the console. We can say document dot picture in picture element, press enter and we get video. Okay, so that is because this is being displayed. If I was to close this, this is now null. So we can actually use this property right here to test whether or not we should display or hide the picture in picture. So let's clear this and go back inside uh, the text editor. And we can say inside the uh, BTN pip event listener, we can say if document.picture in picture element. Okay, so if there is a picture in picture element, we're going to be saying document.exit picture in picture. 
Okay, and then once again, similar to uh, the previous example, we can simply uh, then just say dot catch, grab the error, and then we can just say uh, console.log and pass through error. Okay, and then we can just return from this uh, from this function to simply make it so this code does not get reached um, in this case. So let's just now let's just now save this and then refresh. And we can see if I was to press on the button and then press it again, the picture goes away, or the picture in picture goes away. So very straightforward. Now, uh, one of the uh, one of the last steps here is going to be uh, changing this label to now say leave picture in picture when it's enabled. Okay, so let's go back inside here, and we're going to be adding an event listener to the actual video itself. So we're going to be saying my video. So at add event listener, we're going to be listening for the enter picture in picture event. Okay, and this one, we're going to be grabbing the event object right here. Now I do want to just console.log the event object, but more importantly, I want to then say btnpip.text content and change the label to be leave picture in picture. Okay, cool lowercase i. Let's do the exact same thing now for when you leave picture in picture. Let's copy all this and this event is going to be leave picture in picture. Okay, we can also just remove this console log and make this back to enter picture in picture. So now it's going to toggle between these two. Let's save this and then refresh and we can see if I press on this it changes to be leave picture in picture let's press it again and it goes back to enter this also works on the native UI let's press this and it goes to leave that is because we are using the actual event listeners themselves okay so now also we've got this console.log let's explore this back inside here we can see when I press on enter picture in picture, we get this event object right here. It is the enter picture in picture event. We can see we have right here a picture in picture window property, which refers to this window right here. We have width, height, and on resize. Okay, so let's use this to essentially react to when the window resizes just like this. Okay, so let's clear this, close this, back in the text editor. And we're going to be saying right here, once you enter picture in picture, we're going to be saying e dot picture in picture window dot add event listener. We're going to be listening for the resize event. Okay. And for this, we're going to simply be logging out the current size of the window. So we can just say console dot log and pass through here uh, window size. Then we can just say width times height. And inside here, I can simply say e picture in picture window, then use dot width, and do the same thing right here for dot height. So now saving this and refreshing, uh, we should now see if I was to go inside here, we get right here. Um, of course, the window size uh, logging out whenever I resize the window. So you may want to do something where essentially. When the window resizes uh, beyond a certain point, you may want to, you know, load a different version of the video, maybe a lower quality version, something like that. Uh, but essentially, it's totally up to you. And that is how to use the picture-in-picture -picture, um, functions within JavaScript. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.